If you don't want to use the scroll bar, you can use interactions to create a dynamic display. Here we'll learn how. First, drag a dynamic panel onto the canvas. Now in the properties, look for the layout option and click on the vertical layout. This will align all your components vertically and will push down or higher up the content if one of the component changes. Then draw a data grid in the dynamic panel. Next, drag another dynamic panel inside the first one and put another component inside it. Now that you've got all the components ready, it's time to add interactions. Inside the data grid, add a button and add an on-click action to it. In the Data Master Actions, select the Delete option. In the New window, drag the row to the expression. Now, when simulating your prototype, the bottom component should be high up when you delete a row of the data grid.